Hey guys, what's up? Ry123 here today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the own tycoon, somebody's tycoon, and basically set up the whole thing um, so that it will regen when you're done and everything like that. So I went ahead and already built it because it's been a while since I <laughs> scripted anything. So if I did it live, I would mess up a lot and it would take forever. But let's go take a look at it. So here is our tycoon model. As you can see, when I select that, it selects it over here. And we inside of it, we have a script and another tycoon model. The script is just our regeneration script that makes it so that the... Oh, yeah, this is always so stupid. <laughs> the zoom is weird. Um, But... It makes it so, I accidentally hit a number, when the player leaves the game, the tycoon will respawn, because if this script isn't here, if the player leaves the game, it will never respawn, and nobody else could ever use it. Basically what you do is you make a clone of the model right here, so this first line is just getting this tycoon right here, this inner one. And then this backup is just a clone of that. <clears throat> and then we'll create a loop, and every one and a half seconds, it will check to see if the um, owner value actually has a value, which is right here. It is a string value, I believe. Yeah, there it is, string value, which can be found over here. It looks like that. And you're just going to want to name it owner for now. Um, and so, yeah, basically every one and a half seconds, it checks to see if that value is not blank. If it isn't blank, it goes in and it checks to see if there is a player in the game that matches the value of this owner so basically it checks to see if the owner is still in the game and that's how that line looks the if not game blah 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 then then it will remove the old model make the it will change the model to the backup clone it actually clones the clone which is funny but then it will put the new um, model in its place and this make joints thing just make sure that it doesn't fall apart and everything so yeah that's the regen script now we'll get into setting up the rest of it <clears throat> so you should have the regen script and you should have the second tycoon model in which you'll have your string value owner which is blank then you will have the person's tycoon Well, I just put dot dot dots, you can put whatever, and then you will have own this tycoon, and inside of those you will insert a humanoid and a part. Right now mine are just two green bricks, but you can change that to look however you want. Usually they have like the dot dot dots tycoon, like a brown stick, and then they have the own tycoon thing, like a gray door or something, but get creative I guess. <laughs> Inside of the head we're gonna look at the dot dot dots tycoon first because this one's easier because all it does is every one second it check it gets the owner value um, <clears throat> excuse me it checks to see if there is an owner if that, and if there is it just changed the name of the model so it reads the name of the owner is tycoon so it'll say like right one two three's tycoon or whatever and if not it will say nobody's tycoon or you can change this to whatever you want um, like not owned or whatever okay that one's fairly simple you can pause there to get that one and then in the other one in the own this tycoon this is where all the magic happens it's actually not that complicated either but the first thing we're going to do is get the owner string value and store it in a variable like this. Then 
we'll come down here and make an on touch function for when the player touches the door. Then it will say this is just a humanoid checker just in case like a random part touches it somehow so that it doesn't break. Um, it will, excuse me, <clears throat> it will get the character from, sorry, it will set the variable character from the parent and then it will get the player by finding that character. And so what I mean by that is this gets the model in workspace, this gets the player in the player service, like right here, um, which you will need basically this character one is just used to find the one in the player service anyways so then it finds the players tycoon value which we set up in the leaderboard and it says so you find the tycoon value which should be an int value because we set it up that way and if they do not own a tycoon it will equal zero if it is equal to zero then it will set the owner value of this tycoon so this value it will set it to the player's name and then it will change the player's tycoon value to one which means they own a tycoon and then it will remove the door um, if not if the player already owns a tycoon right now i just have it split ah, i have it set up to print that the player already owns a tycoon um, obviously nobody else will see this except us down in the debug console so um, you can set up like a GUI or pop up like a whatever you want so that ever so that the player can see that but that's how that works so I'm going to go ahead and if I can hit control instead of the Windows button I'm just gonna make a copy of this and then we are going to jump into the test. All right, so here we are. Let's give this thing a test here. And first we will get this tycoon. As you can see, it now says player one's tycoon. And just to show you some of the more behind the scenes stuff, my tycoon value is now set to one, whereas before it would have been zero. And also, in this tycoon model which should now say which one is it <laughs> it's not this one it would be this one yeah here it is the owner value is now player one so that's just some of the behind the scenes stuff and now when I step on this one and try to own this one it prints 500 times that I already own a tycoon so, yeah, guys, thanks for watching the third installment of our... This is a weird skin. <laughs> I think... Is this just the default now? Anyways, thanks for watching the third installment of our scripting tutorials. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for future content. And... What's the next thing? Oh, yeah, don't forget to post a comment. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.